Hey, what's up, everybody? I am back with a continuum on my video about dreadlocks. Um, the videos are running about 10 minutes, so let me just kind of get to the point here. Um, I did put the dreadlocks in my head, and I started to, after putting the beeswax in, I definitely um, started to go through some, some really yucky experiences. Uh, not to mention a loss of being able to think clearly for a while um and this has been days at least three or four days maybe that i've had these in my head they're small but the dreadlocking technique i guess by the spirit it sort of picks up a rhythm and it kind of draws on that whole dreadlock experience um it is a supernatural hairstyle um i did experience you know um congestion as you can hear, it's still there. I experienced nervousness. Um, like I said, lack of concentration, focus, lack of ability to think. Um, even uh, other people that had dreadlocks, sort of, you know, the two, the two of us and people just started noticing me and there was a strange energy going on and all that stuff. And it was just really, really weird. And so what I did was in my uh, dreadlocking experience so far, I've tapped into something of the dreadlock that is negative. It is negative. It's not good at all. And that's what I'm here to warn you about. Um, the dreadlocking technique against, it, um, excuse me, again, goes back to Samson. Um, it goes back to Samson, sort of Samson and Delilah. Everybody knows it. Samson had his strength in his hair. His hair was in a locked sort of um, style. And he grew them out from the time he was born all the way up until he was an adult. Delilah um, was threatened and she was convinced to look into um, uh, what could be done in order to find out what his strengths were. And she um, did ultimately cut his hair, um, taking his strength and allowing him to be captured and thrown in prison. Um, when he was growing up, his mom told him not to cut his hair. Um, that, um, even though God could use him against the enemy, um, as a judge and an exactor of execution against the enemy, it is a curse to be anointed under the covering of Almighty God. Here upon the land, it is a curse because you are targeted when you have a supernatural anointing given by the Almighty um, himself. And so that was the curse. The curse was the hair being the source of strength. And once the hair was removed or once someone got close enough to Samson to understand where his strength was, that it could be eradicated. And that's what happened. Um, Samson even lost his, um, <clears throat> excuse me, even lost his sight um, when he became a prisoner um, after he had done many, many slayings. Um, they were ordered by God. And one last ditch effort to prove God's miraculousness and his faithfulness and loyalty to God, he asked God while he was in prison, unable to see, um, if he could have one more, one more burst of strength. The almighty hand of God released him with that strength once again in order to throw the pillars down in that building or whatever that structure was that he was prisoned, imprisoned in. And as a result, not only did everybody in that place die, but Samson did as well. And so that is the story of Samson and Delilah. Now, I believe that the originator of the dreadlock, I think it comes out of a culture associated with Jamaicans, um, that Jamaicans respect the dreadlock. I believe that not anybody should be wearing them. I believe that those who have put them in their head were not given the uh, spiritual exaction of wearing those dreadlocks. I believe a lot of people have worn them because they thought they were cool. I believe a lot of people had less options about what to do with their hair, so they put them in. The texture of hair that they were born with wasn't good, and so they opted for dreadlocks. I know that little Haiti and Miami, that many of them have dreadlocks, and that their dreadlock um, format comes from the Haitian community, and Haiti's um, has a lot of voodoo and witchcraft in it. And so, when you you mix that with a bunch of people that don't understand exactly what the spiritual concept is behind the dreadlock, then you find a lot of people who are ignorant of what dreadlocks are and what they can do. Now, if you've got dreadlocks in your head, I'm sure that when you first put them in your head, you went through some of the same issues that I went through. 
in order to be able to maintain them and have them in your head, you had to have gone through some type of suffering or rite of passage in order to receive them. The reason being is because the appropriate exaction of having those dreadlocks was not invested in you. If you went through that suffering and now you have the dreadlocks in your hair, there is coming to a place of an end for the dreadlock community, there is coming an exaction of condemnation for having that hair in your head um, in the form of a dreadlock because it was a signature hairstyle for Samson. It represented a supernatural ability that comes from the Almighty God. If you were not given God's permission, if God didn't order you or direct you or instruct you to do those things to your head, and you just chose them for an aesthetic purpose, then God is going to um, remove from them the spiritual ability, the Holy Spirit ability to keep you safe and, and keep you from having to suffer so much at the hands of having a dreadlock. He's going to remove that spiritual comfort and security, and you'll be left with an option to either cut them off or wear them at the risk of literally losing your mind. And so I'm grateful that God gave me the understanding that, you know, in order to have the, the testimony of what the dreadlocks are and what they can do, that I have to wear them. Otherwise, I would not have them in my head because I respect what the dreadlock is. And I always had a reason to never put them in my head. I don't know why, but I always did. I learned now the reason why, and that's because there's a supernatural attachment to it that it harnesses a power from the earth that people do not need to mess with or entangle themselves with because that's what a dreadlock is. It is entangled hair. And it is a lock of hair that absorbs and holds all of the treasures of your mind, stresses, impurities, whatever it is. And so if God is not in control of your dreadlocks, then the devil is. I need you to understand me clearly that if you put locks in your head just because you thought they looked good, then the devil is in charge of those dreadlocks. And so you will get to a point where you start to not feel so comfortable about having them in your head. You will make a decision to either cut them off. If you decide to keep them, then you will have to suffer through some things and probably eventually decide to cut them off anyway. Because the negative stuff that I felt come upon me just from having these dreadlocks in my head that I cannot remove because God is saying leave them, the stuff I've gone through has been hell. And hell, I can say hell. Okay? It's been hell. And I'm letting you know that if you have them in your head and God has not appropriated you or given you a seal covering in order to have them in your head like Samson had, like the people over in Jamaica likely have, okay, then you will have certain types of issues. I'm willing to even bet that over in Jamaica there are those who have practiced the dreadlock um, uh, way of wearing their hair and they weren't approved to do it. And so some of them might end up running into some issues. The thing is that the dreadlock structure of hair comes from Samson. It's originated from Samson back then. And I don't believe there's any record of any man ever having the strength and the prowess of Samson ever on this earth in this generation of creation and time. I believe that there are some who have had ounces of it. I believe that there are some who have been gifted with the same um, ability to judge as Samson had, but all the way through the flesh, there has not been a representation like Samson ever again upon this land of all creation. And I believe that all those, especially men who have put those locks in their head, they had wanted to harness some of that power and prowess that Samson had. That is the root spiritual structure of the reason for wearing the dreadlock, I believe. And what they don't know is that when I read the story of Samson, that he had slaughtered many animals, that he had dead and decaying, excuse me, dead and decaying flesh on his body and in his hair. All of those things are attached to dreadlocks. And they will come up as soon as the Holy Spirit's presence, which is, well, now. People are going to start having issues with smelling death and decaying flesh and all kinds of stuff and feeling uncomfortable and feeling filthy and feeling unable to focus and unclear in their minds and in their spirits, burdened because of dreadlocks. So you be careful. 
If you got them, pay very special attention to how your spirit feels and what starts to happen. Don't be surprised if it's from the dreadlocks.